Hey everybody, welcome back. We're going to be doing the tube mount in chapter 6. This one is going to have a lot of extrusions and extrude cuts. It's a fairly simple part to make. It's just a matter of remembering that you got to do one step at a time. Come up with a plan and get it done. So let's go ahead and get started. Click on new. This one's in inches. So go to English. Standard inches part create okay so um, it's important that you look at your view cube and make sure that you are looking at front view and so what I want to do is I'm going to start with the base and the base is going to be on the XZ plane and I'm going to extrude up go to start sketch go to XZ plane and I want to draw the base of what that sketch is going to be like. And I'll use a center point rectangle, two point center rectangle. Go to the center. This one is five. And the bottom right side view is 5.375. So it's kind of what we're looking at. I'm going to finish sketch. And I'm going to extrude. So click on extrude. I'm going to click on my rectangle. And I want to extrude the full thickness, not including those two rectangles in the front. Now it doesn't tell me the exact thickness, not including those rectangles. So I'm just going to uh, subtract. I'm gonna subtract 1.75 minus 0.375. All right, now I'm gonna put those two rectangles on these corners over here. Click on 2D sketch, I'm gonna click on the top. You have to make sure that you are looking at the right area. So notice how front view is right in front of you. That's the correct area. So these two rectangles are gonna be right here. And for this one, I'm going to use a regular two point rectangle. And I'm going to start on the corner, make sure that I lock on with green. I think they put these dimensions like this, so you would have to do a little bit of math. I don't know what the dimension width of that is, but I do know that there's a gap between them that's 2.5 and the entire width is 5. So I'm going to start with that and go 5 minus 2.5. I could do this in a calculator as well, but I, I don't want to do that. And whatever that dimension is, is whatever that dimension is, it's actually going to be divided by two. So I'm actually going to create a formula. I shouldn't have hit enter. I should have hit tab, but that's okay. I'm going to go to dimension, and the dimension between this line. And this line
is going to be 5.375. That's the entire right side width minus the thickness of that back wall, which is 1.25 minus the three, which is the distance between the edge of that back face and the face of the beginning of the peak. So that is 1.125. And like I said, you could do this on a calculator and you'll come up with the same numbers. So now that I know what the dimensions are, I can actually plug them in over here on this side. Go back to rectangle, green dot means it locked on that corner. And 1.25, 1.125. That looks good. And a sketch. And then I'm going to extrude these. I'm going to select both of those and then the thickness is 0.375. Click OK. And that's done. Next, there's this area that we're going to cut out here. So I'm going to click on Start 2D Sketch. Click on this face. This looks like it's the center, but I don't know. I know that the dimension from here to here is supposed to be one inch. So I'm gonna draw a line. Horizontal line, that's one inch. And that's just so I can mark where I'm gonna start that rectangle. I'm gonna right click, get out of my line command. You could also hit escape on the keyboard. Go back to my two point rectangle. Make sure you lock on that point. And the width is three. And the thickness is 0.125. New sketch. Extrude. And I'm going to cut all. And it's gonna cut all the way through. Click OK. So I'm going to look on the front view real quick, make sure it looks correct. That looks good. So now I just need to do that back wall. I'm going to draw a rectangle again and extrude up. So click on Start 2D Sketch, click on this face. Two point rectangle. Make sure you lock on that corner. Now it's gonna be the entire width, so that's gonna be five. The thickness is 1.125. Done, finish sketch. Extrude. I'm gonna check my dimension for this. So I'm gonna to go to inspect, I'm gonna to go to measure. Now I wanna know how thick this line is and it's 1.375. I need to remember that number because I'm going to subtract, I'm going to subtract the 5.375 minus that, which I could do it in my head, it's four. So I'm just gonna extrude four. Extrude four. 
click OK. That looks good. I need to put my hole here. There's a couple of different ways to do that. I'm just going to draw a sketch and do the hole that way. So start 2D sketch, click on this face, circle command. Notice how it locked on the center. So I'm just going to do that and then I'll use the dimension command to fix it. What's really important is the diameter of that hole, which is two. Two, and I, I always hit tab just to lock it in before I hit enter. So I'm gonna use the dimension command. I'm gonna select the center of my circle. I'm gonna select that top edge. And according to this, the dimension between the center and that top edge is two. So I'm gonna click on two, enter. And it's in the center. I'm just gonna double check. This is five. I just wanna make sure this is the correct dimension. So from here to here should be two and a half. It is. So we're gold. Click on finish sketch. Extrude. Click on my circle, cut, and then distance all. Let me click on my home so I can see all of my part. Now all that's left uh, is the rounds and fillets. All of them are radius 0.5. So we're gonna go to fillet here, change my radius to 0.5. And we're supposed to fillet this edge, this edge, and this one. Apply. There you have it. So I just wanna make sure that the distance between here and here is three. I'm going to go to inspect, measure, So according to this, my dimension is off by 0.125. And uh, there's a couple of ways to fix that, but I'm gonna try to fix that by editing my first dimension. So I'm gonna go to my first sketch. First sketch is correct, 5.375. The thickness between here and here is 1.125, so my guess is that this dimension is not correct. I'm gonna go to measure. And it's 1.125. I think this dimension should be uh, one, it should be 1.25. So I had a typo on that. And that's it. that's an easy fix. All you can do is just go to that extrusion, go to that sketch, or 1.25, return, and it's 1.25. Maybe my math in there was a little bit wrong. And it's sketch and it extended those correctly. So I'm gonna check my measurement again. I should measure three. From there to this line. There you go. And you can use this annotate command to check your dimensions after the fact.
I want to check my dimension between this edge and this edge. It should be 2.5 and it is. The thickness, you can check it between faces, this face and this face, 3.75. That's correct. You can actually check it between points. That point and that point. It's 1.75. That is correct. Now, the thing about checking measurement points is that Sometimes if you select the wrong point, for example, if I select this point and this point, it's going to check the distance at an angle. It didn't select it. Hold on. So if I select this point and then I select this other point, it's giving me the dimension between that point and that point at an angle. So that's, that's an incorrect measurement. So you got to be very careful when you are checking your dimensions. Okay, so there you have it. This uh, tube mount is complete. Make sure that you do save. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, Tube Mount, and that'll be all. I'll see you guys in the next one.